afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Thought I'd show you a nice little trade-in we just got in. And a very, very affordable one, too, guys. This is something you're not going to find at just any neighborhood RV dealership. And that is a nice, clean little uh, little camper for $89.95. Well, here it is. I mean, don't say I don't deliver. This is a 2015 Forest River Cherokee Wolf Pup Limited. 16 fb and it's a little single axle just a bare bones little travel trailer nothing fancy you know if you're wanting something for your first time out or something or if you just want to get back to basics guys in fact sometimes uh even for the most experienced rv or sometimes it's just nice to take a step back get something that's just basic bare bones get back to basics get away from all the fancy high-tech stuff the stuff that breaks down on you and, the, and just get something that's simple that can last for years without problems and this is definitely one of those type of campers um, overall length including the tongue is 19 foot and 7 inches long it does weigh not it does weigh 2890 pounds so right under 2900 pounds does have a manual awning I've already deployed it and by the way guys I took care of you on that awning the previous owners obviously had uh, some issues or didn't know what they were doing with the awning I've, I've spent about 20 minutes getting that pull strap untangled where they put it up wrong. So you can rest assured when I put when I get done with this video, that awning will be put up right when the next person that deploys it won't have any problems like I did. <laughs> but hey, you know, it takes all types. Everybody's got to start out sometimes, right? But uh, it does have 30 amp electrical service, which I'm plugged into right now. A couple of modifications the previous owners did. I don't know if they were scared of propane like a lot of new RVers are, which for no reason to be scared of propane. I trust propane more than I do electricity. I've been around these things 25 years. But they removed the RV refrigerator, put an electric refrigerator freezer in, which works fine, by the way. And they it looks like they've left the propane water heater, but they've added an extra electric water heater. So obviously, I'm not going to guarantee that electric water heater but we will make sure it's just a manual light water heater we'll make sure it works good guys you know i know a lot of new rvers um are scared of propane but these things have so many detectors in them uh, propane is not as dangerous as an overloaded electrical system i can you know i've seen people in that have taken everything propane out, put all electrical appliances in, shorted out their electrical system because they overloaded it and caught their unit on fire because they had too much electricity going on at once. You know, electric ovens and electric heaters and all that, trying not to use, and electric hot plates, trying not to use propane. And guys, RV electrical systems are not like sticks and bricks homes. They're not, you know they can handle a lot but they can't handle everything so that's why you have to supplement the electrical stuff with the stuff that can be ran on propane there's nothing to be scared of as long as you use basic precautions but um it does have a extra plug-in to plug in a uh, electric water heater which we will make sure the, the the propane water heater works for you so you'll have hot water one way or the other um, but I can't guarantee the electric, the electric water heater in any shape, form, or fashion because that's not a factory installed item. 16 FB, and the awning works great. Now it does, now that I got that pull strap, which was not put up right. Just FYI, when y'all um, put these pull straps up, you've got to um, put these up. I put them right in the middle when I, and I use my pull cane and when I flip that switch, that way it opens both sides and closes both sides at the same time equally. And that way when you pull it down, it's right in the middle, not on the corners. Anyway, <laughs> 2832 on the weight, I'm sorry. Dry weight 2832. Let's look inside. Got a nice little interior, guys. I mean, like I said, just a bare bones little no slide travel trailer. I mean, it's kind of nice once you pull into your spot, you just unhook it, plug it up, hook your water up and your sewer if it's available and you're done. You do have stabilizer jacks. You've got a, uh, 
ice cold 13.5 uh, roof AC that's cooled it off in here in like five minutes. Very, very cold. You got a clean bed, stationary bed in the front. They left you a little uh, foam rubber mattress pad, but you got the mattress underneath it. Left you a little Vizio television, which I've got on right now so you know it works. They did remove the RV refrigerator freezer, but they did put in a, uh, a nice electric one. Already cold, which that is one advantage electric refrigerator has over an RV one. You know, this thing in an hour is ready to put food in. You take six to eight hours for an RV refrigerator. A uh, little blue LED light strip, microwave, two burner stove top, books and manuals. You've got a little um, table booth that's going to sleep one person. Not bad. Here's your little switch box to go from uh, the air conditioner to the electric water heater. So at least they did that right. And not try to have you run both at the same time because I doubt it would have handled that. But anyway, you know, it's a good, cheap little camper, guys. You know, we're still going to do our major systems inspection at $89.95. Let me show you the bathroom. You know, it's lightweight, under 3,000 pounds. And you got a little tub back here in an RV toilet. And a fantastic vent fan. That's a nice touch. LED light. So if you're boondock camping, you're not going to use a lot of battery power. I mean, you've got a little bit of storage there, there, closet in the back, some plug-ins. You know, like I said, nothing fancy, nothing complicated, but the good thing about simple, it's dependable. Not a lot of high-tech stuff in here you got to worry about, to, you know, breaking down or, or, or being expensive to fix or anything like that. And, Believe me, guys, it, sometimes it's nice getting back to simpler is better. I mean, I went from a 38-foot Class A with all the bells and whistles to a 25-foot B-plus uh, Class C motorhome with no jacks and no slide. I mean, and I love it. It's nice just getting back to your roots. And, or if you're a first-time RV owner, this is a great little camper that is easy to learn to get your, uh, you know, to kind of, uh, to kind of get the hang of it with and keep for a couple of years and two or three years and get used to RVing and then trade it or sell it and get something better. It's a good starter one. And the good thing about it, the way it's priced, $89.95, if this is something you're going to keep for a couple of years, a couple of years from now, it's probably still going to be worth close to what you paid for it. Now, you can't say that about many campers you buy right now. But, I mean, this camper a couple of years from now is going to be worth very, very close to what you paid for it. As long as you keep it in the same condition. $89.95 plus applicable sales tax. That's it. We're not going to be like other RV dealerships that add thousands of dollars to the advertised price before they even talk about sales tax and upsells and fees. Guys, it's $89.95 plus sales tax. We don't start talking about adding thousands of dollars worth of extended warranties, gap insurance, tire and wheel protection packages, gap... Uh, uh, roadside assistance, vacation packages, and all that stuff. First of all, none of that stuff's worth the paper it's written on. Second thing, all that stuff is uh, marked up four times dealer cost, and none of it are exclusive dealership items. So, you know, even though they're not worth the flip, you can buy them for a fraction of the cost away from the dealership after you buy your camper. If you had to have them, even though you're throwing your money away either way. But, uh, at least you can buy it for less. Basically, like they take a, I mean, a travel trailer warranty costs a dealer about four to five hundred dollars, and they sell it to you for uh, two to three thousand dollars. And the bad thing is, is even after you pay that, and they get, and the dealer keeps a profit off that. Bad thing is, dealer, when you need that warranty, nobody accepts it, and when you find somebody that accepts it, um, problem is the warranty company denies the claim. Very rarely do you see an aftermarket warranty company pay even a partial payment on a claim because that's how they make money. If they're only selling those things to the dealership for four or five hundred bucks, do you think they're going to pay for any kind of repair voluntarily? No, because they're going to lose money on the first claim. That's not how they stay in business, guys. They stay in business by denying claims and getting dealers to sell their products. And the dealers make money, warranty company makes money, 
the person buying the camper mistakenly buying that warranty because the dealer upselled it so much is the one getting the shaft. So never ever buy an extended warranty. You're just wasting your money. Take that money, put it up, you know, especially on something like this, guys. Ain't nothing on this camper that can't be fixed for a few hundred dollars, and most of it you can probably do fix it yourself. Uh, especially with uh, Google and YouTube and resources like that. I don't know about y'all, when I first started camping 25 years ago, uh, plus, we I didn't have resources like that. I was lucky I had my grandpa and my dad teach me stuff and my own head and my own common sense about buying campers and fixing them. But, uh, but I had them because they grew up in this business too. But... Um, but you know i learned a lot of stuff by myself without youtube and google but now i tell you whew, well if i had the resources we have now back then i'd have been a master rv technician by now making big money instead of doing these videos <laughs> but you know that's just the way i am I, I don't like to own something i don't know how to work on that's just the way i was raised but um i know everybody's different and there's nothing wrong with that but but good thing about this, you don't have a slide out. You don't have power jacks. You don't have all this complicated machinery that can go wrong, that requires a PhD to fix. I mean, everything's pretty simple, pretty manual. And, uh, you know, anybody with common sense and, and, and uh, basic tools can fix, you know, majority of stuff in this camper. Anyway. If you're interested in this little camper, and I think it'll sell pretty quick, we do have financing available with approved credit, but I do, you know, for no more money than this thing is, just go to your bank or credit union, get a loan. It's a lot easier than go through one of our nationwide lenders because they're gonna want income verification and they're gonna want employment verification and, and verification of residence and all this other stuff that your bank probably won't ask for or, or give you a hard time about since they've already got a, a working relationship with you or a, a long relationship with you so and it's not like you need a long term on an 89.95 camper you can get a short term loan and still get a really low payment and a low rate so which rate on 89.95 don't make a hill of beans anyway i mean i mean heck if you pay 20 percent interest and paid seven percent interest you probably ain't you're not probably not talking about ten dollars a month difference <laughs> on that amount of money i mean honestly which is no big deal, but but I know every little bit helps. But anyway, um, give us a call if you're interested, 706-965-7929. Nationwide delivery is available for $2 a loaded mile or a dollar a mile round trip. Uh, we do have financing available if you need it, but like I said, we're more than happy to work with you on bank or credit union. No extra charge. Apparently now dealers are charging you extra if you go to your own bank or credit union or if you bring cash or cashier's check they charge you extra we don't do that guys it don't matter to us how you pay for it we don't make money on financing other dealers mark the interest rates up we don't so however you want to do it guys we're here to help you just give us a call make sure it's available first that's the first step and then uh my sales people can answer any questions you have about it um and assist you further we take trade-ins and more so uh Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Smash me a thumbs up, just a quick video real quick. I wanted to film Friday afternoon. Neat little camper we traded for. I don't get many of these in that's in good shape that I can sell for this price, but we got in real good with this one. We traded for it, so we're going to sell a good buy. Like, you know, guys, we're not like other dealers. We don't price them by what they're worth. We price them by what we have in them. So when we get a good buy, we pass it along to you. So always hit that subscribe button, guys, if you want other great deals on used RVs. And we sell everything from little travel trailers like this to pop-ups to hybrids to motor homes of all shapes and sizes and types and motors, gas, diesel, even some vintage stuff from time to time. I mean, that's what I love about my channel is I'm not limited to only doing late model stuff or new stuff like everybody else on YouTube. But everything looks good new. And I, I want to make this point real quick. You know, the biggest piece of crap ever built looks great when they're brand new. Oh, they look awesome when they're brand new. But the true testimony to how well an RV's built is what it looks like when they're several years old. Look at this one. So, 
and I've seen some 15 models that are falling to pieces and would it be bad somebody bought one brand new financed it for for 12 15 years it was not even halfway through their loan period and, and they don't hardly have a camper left to camp in but they still owe over half what they paid for it that's sad but it happens to people every day so you know buy new is not, not a very smart decision no matter how you look at it something like this you can buy for what you'll lose on a brand new one the first year you own it depreciation 89.95 haggle free firm includes our major systems inspection for that 89.95 we're going to check your plumbing system make sure there's no plumbing leaks check your water heater faucet spigots uh toilet water pump we're going to check your refrigerator freezer make sure it gets the operating temperature make sure your ac works make sure your step works obviously the awning works um and the light even though other stuff we don't cover i still went over it for you so you don't have to worry about it i know we don't cover awnings so I'll, that's why i go out of my way to put awnings out make sure they work oh heck, heck there's no sense in checking it if it ain't broke if it ain't broke you really can't fix it you know when you look at it so i've checked it it works nothing to worry about tv works even though we don't check them or guarantee them hey this one works again if it ain't broke can't really fix it now can you just cut it off for you um lights work so yeah really not much more to say about it it's a bare bones uh little basic little camper thanks again for watching guys i appreciate it and uh hit that subscribe button and um come out and visit with us books and manuals are in here and uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold george also forgot to mention guys if you don't know what your vehicle can tow which that's something everybody should know before they start camper shopping but if you don't because you hear you ask 10 different dealers what can my vehicle tow you're going to hear 10 different answers and it really just depends the answer is going to depend on which unit you're looking at because dealers don't know they're just making educated guesses that's something you don't want to guess at so i've made it really simple i bought and paid for a third party application a tow guide that's on my website and i'll put the link below in the video description so you can look up what your vehicle can tow and um and to tell you how many pounds and then you can also on the lower right hand corner after it gives you how many pounds it to show me rvs i can tow click on that button you'll see everything on my website you can tow with your vehicle and it doesn't just go by the dry weight it also has a percentage to add for food water propane luggage things like that so like this one's 2800 23 pounds something like that of course if your if your truck weighs 20 can tow 29 or your suv can tow 2900 pounds you can't tow this because you're not going to tow it without water or without gray or black water in your tanks or food or or luggage or propane or anything like that now are you but my towing guide accounts for all that and it's going to add a few hundred pounds you're not going to add a lot of weight to this I think 400 pounds would, would kill this thing as far as loading it up. If you added 400 pounds of stuff in here, you wouldn't be able to turn around in it. It'd be crammed full everywhere of everything. So, you know, safe to say you're going to be around 3,300, 3,400 pounds loaded in this. And probably not even close to that heavy. But um, that's why I've got that tow guide, guys. It accounts for all that. And it gives you a true, accurate representation of what you can tow. And if you're still not sure, call your local vehicle dealer service department. Give them the VIN number to your vehicle. Write down the date and the time and who you talk to and ask them what the factory specs say your vehicle can tow. Don't play around with that, guys. If you ever get into an accident towing more than, than you're rated to tow, your insurance company may not pay the claim. Insurance company are like warranty companies, guys. They're always looking for an out not to pay a claim because that's how they make money. They make the insurance company makes money by collecting premiums every month or six months or year. How often you pay? They don't. They don't make money by paying out claims. They try to get out of claims every chance they get. So that's an easy out for them because if you're towing more than you're rated to tow, how in the world can anybody blame them for not paying the claim? anyway I and mean, that's your responsibility to know what your vehicle can tow not ours not any other dealers it is the buyer's responsibility to know what their vehicle can tow anyway guys if you got questions about that or how to use it just give one of our salespeople a call they'll be glad to assist you 
uh, on using our tow guide 706-965-7929 thanks again for watching look forward to seeing you here beautiful Ringgold George also forgot to mention call before coming to look make sure it's available thanks again